Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. A fixed asset account tracks assets your business owns that are not likely to be converted into cash within a year. A fixed asset is something of significant value that is necessary for the operation of your business, like vehicles, computers, furniture, and some types of office equipment. Many times, the purchase of a fixed asset will also incur a long-term liability, such as when acquiring an auto loan to buy a new vehicle. Fixed assets are not for immediate sale, but they do have a value. Since they are useful for a long time, you don't completely charge their entire cost to the year in which you purchased them. Instead, you spread their cost over several years, which is called the useful life of the asset. However, because fixed assets wear out or become obsolete, like computers, their value declines constantly from the day that you purchase them. When the value of fixed assets decline over a period, the amount of value that is lost is called depreciation. The total amount of this decline over a period of time is called accumulated depreciation. We will now examine one method for creating fixed asset accounts, noting their original value, and recording their accumulated depreciation. There are many ways to track fixed asset value and depreciation, and this is just one suggested method. This method works well to show the original cost, the accumulated depreciation, and the current book value for a single fixed asset on separate lines within the balance sheet for clarity of reporting. However, if you are currently tracking fixed assets and asset depreciation in other ways, such as creating categories for fixed assets like furniture and equipment and then recording them all within a single account, you can rest assured you can continue using your own method. When you refer to the value of a fixed asset at any point in time, you're referring to its book value. This is determined by subtracting its accumulated depreciation, which is the total amount of depreciation that has occurred since the asset's original purchase date, from its original cost. Usually, you will want your company's balance sheet to show the original cost of an asset on one line, with the accumulated depreciation subtracted from the original cost on a second line, and the current or book value on the third line. This method that you will learn in this lesson allows you to see each asset's cost and its accumulated depreciation separately on your balance sheet. To do this, you need to create a primary fixed asset account for each fixed asset, and then create two sub-accounts under each primary fixed asset account, one for the original cost and another for accumulated depreciation. First, create a new primary fixed asset account for the fixed asset. Leave the opening balance field blank if purchasing the asset after your company files start date, as that value will be determined by the two sub-accounts, original cost and accumulated depreciation, that you will need to create to track its book value. Next, create two fixed asset sub-accounts, one for the asset's original cost, and another for the asset's accumulated depreciation. These two sub-accounts should also be of the fixed asset account type. When creating these accounts, ensure that you click the checkbox for sub-account of within the new account window, and then select the correct primary fixed asset account for which these sub-accounts will track the original cost and depreciation. Also, when creating the original cost sub-account for assets purchased before your company files start date, Enter the opening balance as the original cost of the asset. For assets purchased after the start date, leave the opening balance field blank as the value of the asset will come from the value of the transactions that you still need to enter, such as a loan you received or checks that you wrote to buy the fixed asset. When creating the accumulated depreciation subaccount, the amount that you enter as the opening balance also depends on whether you acquired the asset after or before your company files start date. If you acquired the asset after the start date, then leave the opening balance field blank. If you acquired the asset before your start date, 
enter the accumulated depreciation of the asset as of the start date as a negative number. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.